guys. If you've ever wondered what life is like with a bunch of animals, this is a good representation of it. I got a dog here, a dog over there, I don't know if you can see her. And yeah, so that's what I wake up to every morning is two animals already. <laughs> guys today i am just feeding the goats hanging out um i'm gonna do my little morning routine show you guys a little bit of that and yeah we're just gonna hang out it's going to be um just a chill day so i thought i'd film it and show you what i do with the animals i want to update you guys real quick on is Didi and her stomach issues so um if you don't know Didi usually has issues with feed um if she's on feed for too long she will usually get her stomach upset and um usually it ends up in a trip to the vet so um i've started not giving Didi a ton of feed at all i put her on feed for like a week and then take her off for a week um just because feed does is like a little treat for them um, that's basically how I feed it as now, um, after seeing how it affects her. So um, that's just been my routine lately, is just putting her on feed and taking her off for a week. Um, and that keeps her stomach kind of balanced without, if because when we took her completely off feed for two weeks, she was a completely different goat. And she just acted really strange. I think it was because she was sad um, and a little bit depressed because everybody else was eating and she wasn't. So um, I thought about taking everybody off, but I'm going to do some more research on that and just see how it would affect them. Um, but yeah, the babies definitely, they still need their feed. So they will continue to get feed. But um, yeah, i am just been thinking about that. Are you mad? Yes? Tch. Sorry, Dee Dee, you can't have any. You can't have any, it hurts your stomach. Oh, hi Archie. I guess he's done. <laughs> he's like, I'm done eating. I'm gonna go try to get the bucket. <laughs> All right, you guys, now let's go feed the chickens. We need some of this this morning, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So basically, this morning, I came outside, and yes, all the babies are out of here, um, but Mama is not. Um, so I basically found this hen in here. There she is. And as you can see, Mama is not feeling good. And at first, I was thinking upper respiratory, something along those lines, but I was like, that just doesn't seem right. Um, she just doesn't have any other symptoms besides squinty eyes, which can also be pain. Um, so, and then if she turns around, you'll see that her wing is actually broken. So that's where this comes in. Uh, this is the best method to uh, fix a broken wing, and obviously this is not a vet visit unless it got really bad. There you go. As you can see, she's in a lot of pain. Uh, that's a pretty bad wing break compared to what you see with, uh, like, just basic chicken wing break. So... I think something got to her or um, something because she's not, she doesn't ever sleep in here. Um, it might have been a squirrel. It could have been really anything that got to her. I don't necessarily know that it's a squirrel, but that's the only thing I see around here during the day. Um, I don't think that this happened last night because um, she never sleeps in here. So if she was fine, she would have went to go sleep in her main coop where she lives. Um, but now I've got to get her out of here because obviously she's in pain. She wanted to go to the closest place to hide. Um, so yeah, we got to assess the wing, see where it's broken at, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, so here's Mama. Um, as you can see, she's not, she's not going anywhere. And as soon as I touch this wing, she starts screaming. Um, so I'm holding her on her side. This is also a method of restraint, if you're wondering, in chickens. So as this wing is just completely obliterated. I can feel like without, without, with barely touching it, where exactly she broke it. I know mama, I'm sorry. And Archie is screaming this morning. Um, but yeah, basically she is just, yeah, she's real broken, um, unfortunately. And I can feel right there that she really broke it, this thing. So here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very carefully and gently wrap this up. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna attempt to do this um, very carefully because she is in a ton of pain. Um, I'm gonna look and, and see what I can give her um, for medication. I might call a vet and see if they've got any pain medication for chickens, um, but we'll see. 
I know the grass is tall, but she is in a lot of pain, so I'm just gonna do it right here. And she's got no energy. All right, so I'm just gonna get a bunch out because I wanna do this very loose. I know most people say not to do it like this, but I wanna at least wrap it once around her body. And I'm gonna have to change this every few days or so because she's gonna get it really dirty. I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna put her on her side to make her more comfortable so that there's no pressure on that wing. And then I'm just gonna hold it. I want it to attach right here. Or maybe we'll do it like this. That's better. I'm gonna have to hold you here for just a second. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. There she is. Okay, back on that side so she's more comfortable. Also not wrapping it too tight. They don't need it super tight. They're chickens, they're not, you know, it's not like a limb, it's their whole body. So make sure you're very loosely wrapping it if you are, you know, watching this as a tutorial. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna rip this, hopefully. There she is, all wrapped up. I don't know that she's gonna be able to stand with this, so she may not be able to be out here. Um, but that's basically how you secure their wings. So here's Mama's setup. The reason I did the smallest bin we have is because she cannot move at all. Um, I mean, she's trying and she's walking a tiny bit, but I don't want her to move a ton because of how bad her wing is. Um, so I put her right next to the water. Um, I gave her some food and some mealworms, cheer her up. And then I gave her um, a water bottle that's wrapped in a towel, it's frozen, um, so that she can stay cool. And I'm also putting on this fan, um, so it'll kind of circulate some air through there. Obviously, it's not going to be directly on her, but it'll kind of give her, um, you know, some air that way. But yeah, this is her little setup, um, but I'm going to check on her like a million times a day. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so it is the afternoon and it is time for me to tuck in the goats. I guess you could say. So what I do is I basically come outside three different times in my night routine. Once to feed the goats, and once to check on the chickens, and then um, once to put the chickens and goats up and say goodnight. So um, basically right now I'm saying goodnight to the goats um, and checking on the chickens and then chickens go out a lot later because obviously the sun, they don't like to go up till way later. Um, but the goats like to go up pretty early. It's around eight o'clock right now and they start screaming at me because they want to go to bed um, and they get very upset if you don't lock them in. <laughs> um, that's just their little routine but I'm gonna grab this bucket from this morning. Excuse me Dee Dee. Um, but yeah, we gotta do that. I'm also collect eggs during this time. <laughs> they really like the bucket so that's what they're doing but let's tuck them in. Gotta move this little cinder block here. That's just basically what we do to the chicken to uh, put them up. Come on. And then I just basically call them in. Um, using the bucket helps <laughs> because I think that I'm feeding them. Oh, I guess the chicken got out. That's okay. Usually I just grab my dog Priscilla, um, who I'll probably just show her doing this unless the chicken goes back in. But. Um, she does it all the time, and she puts the chickens up. She's not aggressive or anything. She just puts them up. But basically, oh, just an empty bucket gets them all up. So, come on, over here, look. Anyway, I'm just, just messing with them now. I'm gonna get my rooster out of here. As you can see, goats are now up. Um, let's pepper manners, please. Sometimes Pepper, I forget that Pepper's not an aggressive rooster because he will literally walk right next to me and I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna like attack me or something, but he's not. He never has and hopefully never will, but yeah, I just, I automatically assume that. It's so funny. I have, I've had roosters for years that don't attack, and then, but I've also had a rooster that does. So, um, it really just depends. I no longer have that rooster. Um, that was Juan Carlos, who I really loved, but... He just didn't do so well. Yeah, and we got birds over here and they love to mess with me uh, because they've got a nest over here and I feel horrible going over here with them because I understand that they're, you know, trying to protect their babies and I completely understand that. I'm trying to protect my babies too. But 
at the same time, I need my eggs. These are my eggs. This is my coop. And I need my eggs. So, <laughs> I got three in this one. Also, did you hear that chicken? <laughs> I got three eggs in that one. I'm sure there's more. I need to, like, grab a basket because I don't have any pockets right now. Um, oh, I need to go. I'll grab that bucket. That's what I'll do. Excuse me, nuts. Yes, I call my animals loves. A lot of people think I'm weird because I call my animals nicknames and stuff, but I don't think it's weird. I think it's awesome and cute, and they're all my babies. But I got asked on TikTok the other day um, if my animals are meat animals or if they're, you know, just pets. And the truth is, like, obviously I use my chickens for eggs and everything. But I got asked on TikTok the other day if any of my animals are meat animals. And the answer is no. But would I have meat animals? Absolutely. It, I think meat animals um, are really great. And it's a great way to know where your food comes from. And know how your food was treated and how your food was raised. So though um you might have to do all the work and it might be a little hard um to actually go through the process of processing that animal you know it's a lot healthier for you you know how the animal was treated you can make sure that the animal was treated with respect and you know that to me is so worth it um and a lot of people ask again are meat animals the same as normal chickens and normal goats and everything and you know my goats are bred to be show goats to be meat goats and i would say they definitely have less of a personality than Archie, Archie and Lily do. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily like not good pets or like they couldn't be pets, but they're just not as smart as say an, an animal that was made to be a pet. So uh, yeah, but but meat chickens, <laughs> you can do meat chickens. You're gonna be like, if you have never met a meat chicken, go meet a meat chicken at like a, a show or, or um, I don't know, a fair or something because they are nothing, nothing like your pet chickens at home. They act <laughs> ridiculous and they are not very smart. And just overall, not saying that, they, that that means that they deserve to be treated any less with respect or anything. Um, but I do think that means that, you know, it's a meat animal. They're genetically modified meat animals to be the way they are. And some people just don't understand that. And if you're not into meat animals, that is completely fine. Um, I'm just letting y'all know that I would definitely do meat animals in the future. So, uh, there's that. But, yeah, I grabbed my eggs. I only got three today. Uh, but it's been, it was a super hot day. So, I'm not mad about that at all. Because, you know, I have six laying hens. And uh, we lost one, actually, recently, Vicky. Uh, but she was super, super old chicken. She laid off and on. Barely anything. So, you know, I, was, I actually was surprised that she didn't pass away a lot earlier. So y'all, so that was night check number two. So first one was I fed the goats. Second one is I tuck, tuck the goats in, grab eggs, and make sure all the chickens are good to go. And then the third one is I tuck in baby chicks into their coop. So I shut that door back there um, for that coop. So I decided that I'm actually going to come out a little bit earlier to the um, animal yard, I guess you could call it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just put the chickens away because they went up a little bit earlier. Woo! Look at the sunset. <laughs> Back here, it's so pretty if it would focus. Wow, so pretty. Um, but basically, um, it, there's just a ton of red in the video right now because, sorry, there's a car passing by and it's so awkward whenever you're holding a camera and, and they're just staring at you and you're like, what is this person doing? Vlogging or something? Anyway, um, but yeah, we're gonna put, ugh, this bird keeps messing with me so mean anyway i'm just gonna shut this door real quick hopefully you guys don't see a bird <laughs> come fly at me um i don't mean girly i know you're upset with me but i'm just gonna shut my door so i can have my babies <gasps> oh my goodness <laughs> it's so angry please don't peck me i'm just trying to protect my babies <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness i don't know if you can see them they're probably gonna come back and like hit me or something. They've done it before, they swoop at you. It's not fun. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the end of my night routine. I'm done actually very early today. But look at how beautiful it looks out there. Just so gorgeous. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'm just hanging out, just chilling, getting done with my stuff. And this is what I basically do, is just get my stuff done and then I go inside. Um, I usually don't change out of like my 
my clothes, my day clothes, just in case I need to go back outside, which I always, well, not always, but I sometimes need to. So yeah, that's why I don't do that. So right before I go to bed around like nine-ish, I start getting into um, like my PJs and then that kind of thing. But um, then, you know, I take off my makeup and do that kind of thing. But uh, I don't know that I'll be vlogging that today, but maybe, um, we'll see. But yeah, that is a little portion of my night routine. All right, you guys, it is the end of the video. I just wanted to come on here real quick and say thank you so, so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate every single one of you. And thank you so much again for watching. I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye. Also, Archie just wanted to come on here real quick and tell you guys to make sure you are following us on social media and subscribe down below for more animal content. Bye, guys.